and place the bottom of the left foot to the top of the inner right thigh. Allow the left knee to release towards the floor as much as it wants to go. Don't force it. Just to here is fine. Center your body over the right leg. Flex the right foot and engage the muscles in the right leg by pressing the right knee down into the floor. With your hands, reach forward and take a hold of the right foot. If you can't reach the foot with ease, put the strap around the foot. This will protect your back. If it's still a challenge, feel free to bend your knee as much as you need to. On the inhale, stretch your spine long, and on the exhale, release your body forward just a little at first. Again, it is the intention to move that counts. Don't force anything. Let's start our six breaths. The inhales help you go out, reaching through the top of the head, while the exhales help you to gently move down. Inhale, exhale. Even if you don't feel breath happening in your hamstrings, imagine that it is there. Try to aim the breath into the place that is stretching. Even the intention will help your legs relax and open. Inhale and exhale fully. Then slowly come back up to sitting. Let's get that on the other side. You'll find that very often one side is tighter than the other. If it is tighter, you might not be able to go down as far. Just notice the difference without pulling or yanking. Stretch the left leg forward. Bend the right knee and place the bottom of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh, as high up as is comfortable. Work the straight leg strong by pressing it into the floor. Don't let it flop out to the side. The kneecap should face the ceiling. Square your body over the left leg and gently take a hold of your left foot. If you feel discomfort in the lower back, release some of the slack into the strap. Sit nice and tall, no slumping, and we'll start our six breaths. Like in all of the poses, when we inhale, we expand the chest cavity and exhale to soften. Inhale to stretch your head towards the foot. Exhale, go just a little deeper at a time. To do yoga, we need to do big, fancy movements. False. Even if you're doing something simple, it's yoga if the focus is on the breath. Even between the moves, keep your breath flowing smoothly. Exhale fully and come up on the inhale. Moving slowly, bring yourself back into a seated cross legs position. Sit tall and again, take a couple of deep breaths. You did it. You completed 11 poses of the Daily Dozen. Congratulations. I'm saying congratulations now because you've completed the hard part of the practice. It's all downhill from here. Okay, here we are at the last of our daily dozen, the final relaxation pose. This is what I like to call the dessert pose because it feels so good. All of the poses that we've done so far have stretched and strengthened you. They have helped to stimulate and detoxify the body and mostly to release tension. The final relaxation pose is the time for integration. It is the time for all of the benefits of the work you've done to soak in and take effect. The more you relax, the better the effect. From sitting, take your knees into your chest. Holding on to the knees, slowly roll onto your back, letting your head rest on the floor. If you have a sensitive lower back, rest your legs on a chair. For those of you not on a chair, stretch your legs all the way flat on the floor. 
let the feet and legs just flop open. Everyone should have the hands out to the sides, lying somewhere in between the shoulders and the hips, palms facing up. The fingers are so relaxed, they will probably curl slightly. Shrug the shoulders down away from the ears and have your head centered. The neck should be soft and comfortable. Allow the eyes to close. We'll be staying here longer than six breaths so that you can relax and enjoy. Keep in mind that relaxation pose is not just about relaxing your body, it is about relaxing your mind. For now, let all worries melt away and just focus on your breath. This posture teaches the concept of conscious relaxation, which can work better than cat naps when you have limited time to recharge your batteries. On the inhale, feel all the benefits soaking in to replenish your body. And on the exhale, feel the last bits of tension drain into the floor. The inhales recharge the body, while the exhales relax the body. Bring your mind back. Take a last deep breath, really making it count, and let it out. Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, stretching your arms up over your head. Bring the knees into the chest, and slowly roll to the right side, using your hands to help you up to sitting. Again, sit with your legs crossed comfortably, and sit up tall. If your eyes were closed, open them and bring your palms together at your heart. The Sanskrit word for this is Namaste, which is a universal symbol that means peace or I salute you. You've done a wonderful job and should feel really good about yourself. The thing that continually surprises me about yoga is how quickly people can improve. Anything new is always a challenge, but with practice, yoga can be fun and really feel good. I'd love to see you do the whole tape, in order, as much as possible, but I know that you all have busy lives. Even just practicing one pose is beneficial. With yoga, a little is better than none at all. Be sure to drink plenty of water and get up slowly. You've taken all this time to relax, so keep breathing. Try to bring the feeling of yoga, this nice relaxed feeling, with you. Namaste.